first thing first was to find and select a camera that would be a good choice and the ice was a big limit there because the hockey ice is not so thick and that boiled us down to the modular camera suite and of those modular cameras the, the fisheye would give us the biggest field of view. So one challenge is to, to first freeze the ice, second one is to transport it in one piece and now we'll see what happens when we handle it and put in the ice. The biggest challenge with this project has been the time constraint combined with getting clear ice. The, the combination of the two has made it very hard to cycle and experiment with the different ice setups we've been doing where it actually takes time to make a liter of ice freeze. Starting off first, we have a concrete slab with cooling in it. We need to keep that intact. Then the ice is built up layer by layer up to an inch and a half, roughly. And after that, we need to create a hole. Once we have that hole, we have a, a ready-made puck-shaped camera head that we slot in and then drive with the Samboni back and forth to freeze it in. We were not sure that it would be a good image quality. We had to test it out. The water could contain different particles. There could be air bubbles, cracks in the ice, and then the, there is the surface of the ice itself that would affect how the image would be. So we had to do multiple tests to make sure that we get a good image quality. It's a proof of our quality in, in the design and, and the build of the cameras. They are tested for vast temperature ranges, both from the very cold to the very hot. So this is a, a proof where it actually works in practice as well. The most fun with the product has been the team building behind it. It's a lot of problem solving and it's not something that we could do one and each by ourselves. It has really been a team effort. 